Today, I'm going to teach you how to make 3D moving text like this. So open a Blender file, delete the default cube, click Shift A to add, and go under text. Here, you can now see that our text is here. Click over here to go to edit mode, delete text, write whatever you want. I'm just going to write magical salary, my name. And then go to this letter section. If you click on here, you can see that you can change the alignment or the spacing of the character, but we want to go to here, font. And we're going to locate the file where our fonts are located. I'm going to click because I already saved it, but you might have to go into the library folder or to find wherever your fonts are saved. And then go switch to display mode so that you can easily see whatever font you want. I am going to choose um, this one. Make sure the fonts that you're using are cleared for non-commercial or shared purposes. So after that, if you just tilt an angle and see, you can see that this is a plane, right? But we want it to be 3D. So go to this gear icon and then under modifier, add solidify. This will pop up. You can adjust the thickness and look, now our model is 3D. Perfect. Go back to object mode, click object, under convert, convert it to mesh, and you should now have a 3D shape. Make sure to click object and set origin and set geometry to origin. Perfect. You can change the material by clicking on this globe thing and clicking new. You can see that our character now has some material. I can change the base color like this, so it's blue. Now I'm going to go to File, Export, and I'm going to select FBX. And I'm going to select the folder I want, which is Downloads. And then I'm going to name it Magical Celery Text. Export. Now I'm going to open Effect House. Under Add Assets, click Import from Computer and find the asset that you created. Import it. And then drag it up and you should be able to see it in the screen. Scale it down. Rotate it. And you should have your 3D text right here. I am going to go under the Material. You can change your color here or make it more metallic. I'm going to go under environments and raise the intensity so that it's nice and bright. To give it some movement, I'm going to add node, transit by time. I'm going to connect it to the start node. And I'm going to connect my get position node. You can click on the text, click on the plus icon here next to positions, click on get positions, and this would pop up. Connect it to the from node. This should automatically change the type to VEC3. Also, you're going to go click this arrow, click set position, and connect it to the stay node and the current node. So what it basically is doing is moving from our current position here to our new position, which we set as 2020. You can change it, of course. And you're going to set the duration for 10 seconds or however long you want the animation to be. And I'm going to loop it a whole lot so that it keeps on looping the entire time people are using the filter. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Bye.